light to thrive that need the light um <laughs> did you guys see that there was a tiny ah a tiny fly that just flew across the lens no problem yeah whatever where was i oh yeah <laughs> yeah so i've met a lot of people out there that are pretty much afraid to get their own um indoor house plant because they're really afraid that they're going to kill it but do not lose faith because there are plenty of indoor plants out there that are really easy to take care of and i will be sharing with you in this video my top eight um, house plants that i personally find really easy to work with Hey everyone, it's me, Soto, the Plantastic Nerd. First of all, I want to thank everyone out there that subscribed to my channel and liked my videos and commented down in the section below. It means the world to me. Uh, it really helps my channel to grow. So yeah, thank you so much for doing that. If you're new to this channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you will also join this community and this family of plant-loving people. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and start off with our number eight. And that is the plant that you see hanging on behind me. I'm talking about the English Ivy, the Hedera Helix. This plant, honestly, it grows like a weed. Uh, we have it everywhere where I live, uh, on the streets, outside, it's on the walls, it's everywhere. It does not need a lot of water. It, I water mine maybe once every 10 days and it's doing perfectly fine. It doesn't need a lot of light. Uh, I, where I have it in my living room, it's getting um, some indirect bright light, but maybe like two to three hours a day. We don't get much light where I live and it's, it's thriving. The only reason why I put this uh, plant on the bottom of my list is because it's pretty susceptible to spider mites. Personally, I did not have this problem with this plant, but I have this problem with... Um, let me show you real quick. I have two other specimens of English ivy. Um, this is uh, the same with the one that's hanging here. It's just a bit uh, smaller and this actually had some spider mites. I checked the foliage because I was noticing some browning spots on them and uh, yeah I found some spider mites on them and the other reason that I put this on the lowest uh, of my list is because this one is a vari variegated one and uh, I tried putting it in a bit of a shadier place both of them actually so yeah, they started dropping some of their leaves and I figured they, they, they won't tolerate a lot, um, lower light situations. So that is mainly the reason why I put them on the lowest of my list. Moving on to number seven, we've got one of my favorite plants and one of many people's favorite plant and that is nothing else than the Monstera Deliciosa. It does not need a lot of water. It needs, I water it every like once every 10 days and I have it in a place where it gets bright indirect light, maybe three to four hours a day. And that's just doing the trick for it. It's really sturdy. Um, yeah. If you give it more light, then your leaves will get fenestrated like this. They will have these uh, holes in them, which we all love. Uh, but if not, the, all the leaves are gonna look like this, like simple, normal leaves. Um, so if you have more light, just give it to it and it will look so amazing. Moving on to number six, um, we have the Skindapsus pictus. This is uh, also commonly known as the silver, silver pothos or satin pothos. As you can see, the leaves have this uh, pretty silver um, variegation on them. I just love it. I love this plant so much. It also does not need much light. It, it, this can tolerate much darker situations than the Monstera deliciosa. And this is also much easier to tell uh, when to water because the leaves of this plant, um, when it needs water, they will actually curl downwards like this. And um, 
then you will know that it needs water. So I always let this dry off completely until I see the leaves curling down and then I give it a nice um, uh, soak and it has been working fantastically for me so it's gonna be really easy for all of you guys out there that are beginners and don't know when to water it. Really easy to take care of. Get yourself a silver pothos and you will not regret it, I promise you. On number five, we have another favorite of mine and that is a Diffenbachia or else commonly known as the dump cane. This plant, I, I love the foliage of this plant. Like, look at this. Just appreciate, just take a moment and appreciate the look of that foliage. Oh my God. Um, this is one of the easiest plants to take care of because it can tolerate lower light situations. And the only way you can kill this plant is actually by underwatering it. Because this plant actually likes it when it's moist, like the soil, it loves it when the soil is moist, but not soaking wet. Um, it's easier to kill it by underwatering it. Um, last week, I actually forgot to water it and I lost a leaf. It went yellow and dropped dead like, like this. So just make sure to keep this pretty pretty um, moist and it should be just fine. Um, the only negative about this plant is that it, it's toxic if ingested and uh, that's how it got its, its name, the dump cane, because if you ingest the, this plant it will irritate your throat and it will numb your throat and uh, you will be incapable of speaking. And that's how it got its name, the dump cane, because it's making you dump. You can't even, you can't even speak. Really easy to take care of. Get yourself a different back here. Just make sure if you have pets or kids uh, around to keep it somewhere safe so that they don't come in contact with it and they don't eat it by accident. Moving on to number four, we have another um, trailing plant and that is the golden pothos. I don't remember the scientific name for it. It's Epipremnum aureum. Um, this plant grows so fast. I have it uh, in a place, it's not shady, but it's also not brightly lit. And it's been doing so well. It's been doing so well for me. It, also, it actually has so much new growth. I don't know if you can see over here. There's one new leaf, there's another one over here. Um, and on the other side as well, it's such a fast grower and you can actually also propagate this plant so easily. Um, I will show you over here. I've got another one. This is, these are just cuttings from this plant and they grew roots in like two weeks or something like that. And then when their roots were like around five centimeters long, I put them in soil. And as you can see, they actually, this is a new leaf over here. And I've got another one growing uh, out here. I don't know if you can see it. It grows so fast and I love it. I just love it so much. So like I said, it can tolerate lower light situations. I also water this like maybe every 10 to 12 days and it's been doing fantastically for me and i'm pretty sure it, it will be for you as well so get yourself a golden pothos and you will not regret it so number three we have a spathiphyllum or elsely known as the peace lily um, this plant is amazing it does wonderfully well in uh, shade and in indirect uh, light it does not need much light unless you want it to flower and to bloom, then you need to give them a lot more light. But if you're a foliage person, just like me, because I just, I'm more into this green luscious foliage than uh, flowers, then you have no problem putting these in a much shadier place where they don't get as much light. They will do just fine. Um, and it's also super easy to know when to water these plants because they will show you, they will let you know, they will wilt and they will throw their leaves down and they will look super sad. But once you uh, give them their water, then they will pop right back in, uh, in a matter of minutes, like maximum like an hour. 
and then they will come back to life. Just get yourself a Spotify album, you will not be disappointed. On our number two, we have the ZZ plant. It's Samyoka Samyofolii. I don't know, I pronounced it. I probably butchered it. I just put the names uh, so you can see. I have a really big one, but it's not mine. It's from a friend of mine. And he asked me if I can take care of it for a couple of uh, weeks or months because he was going to be away. And I said, oh, hell yeah. give it to me because I know this plant is super easy to take care of. And it is in a, such a big container that I will be showing you this in another footage. And I will just talk to you guys about this plant here. Uh, the ZZ plant is so easy to take care of because it has, it has these uh, bulbs underneath the soil surface. And uh, it will actually store water in those bulbs so you don't have to water them so often uh, in fact the only way that you can kill a zz plant is by overwatering it so make sure to not give it too much water because it can cause uh, rot it will rot the stems at the bottom of the at, at the base of the plant and it also has this wonderful waxy and fleshy um, leaves and um, that way it protects uh, the surface from losing water. So that's also one mechanism that they use to retain some of that moisture so that you don't have to water them so, so often. Um, when it comes to light, they will flourish in uh, lower light situations as well. The ZZ plant is a champ and will do extremely well in lower light situations. It will not grow as fast, but it will do just, just fine. It's just undestructible. Just make sure not to overwater it. And yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say about the ZZ plant. So we've made it to the number one of this list, the top plant, the top easiest to take care of plant of mine. Uh, and uh, I will just show it to you right away. I'm talking about the snake plant. Um, this plant, oh my God, you can, you can set it and forget it. I, I'm being honest with you guys over here. These plants need so little to survive. Um, I have mine both in my bedroom and uh, near the window. It's a northeast facing facing window. They don't get as much light and uh, they're just doing so well right now. They don't need much water. Like the less light you give to a plant, the less water it also needs. And these plants generally need very little water because they are succulents um, and they store, like, like the ZZ plant, they store their water in, in their leaves and in their stems uh, and in their roots sometimes as well. So they don't need water. So if you even give them less light than they need, you need to give them even less water than you think. Uh, so I'm not even kidding. I'm watering this like once a month and look at them, they're doing just, just perfectly fine. Just put it in a corner, forget about it. Um, water it every, I would say every three to four weeks um, and it's gonna be just fine. If you put it somewhere where it's brightly uh, lit, then it's probably gonna need to be watered every two weeks. But for me, I water this once a week and as you can see, it's, it's, it's living, it's surviving, it's thriving. This is for me personally, the easiest plant to take care of uh, in my house. And um, yeah, if you get one of those, you will not regret it. So we've made it to the end of this list. I've showed you all eight plants that I personally find really easy to take care of. And I hope I gave you guys some hope uh, that Getting yourself a house plant, buying yourself um, a green friend is not as hard as you might think. Just go for it. Even if you kill it, it, it doesn't matter. I also killed a lot of plants. If I can do it, you can do it as well. There's no, um, there's no questioning about that. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, click that thumbs up. It really helps. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you guys have any suggestions about what kind of videos I should do next. And if you want to be part of this community and this family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified whenever I post a video on YouTube. 
Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Fantastic Nerd and follow my journey there as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you guys next time. Until then, have a fantastic day.